Hi Scorpio. This is going to be an 8th to the 10th reading for you, Storm. Okay, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, give me one of these for the 8th to the 10th of November for Scorpio. What is coming in for Scorpio? All right, we got uh, optimism. Okay, period. You're optimistic in the loving man. There you are, Scorpio. This is like the King of Cups victim mentality and status quo. So you have to plan or take action. You have to come out of this victim mentality or some shit like that, okay? You got to clear this out, Scorpio. Um, there, If you're a woman, Scorpio, there's a loving man coming towards you. could be another water sign. And if you're a male, Scorpio, watching this, you could be the loving man that's here. Maybe you're giving somebody roses or flowers or you just, you, you fuck with somebody or something like that. Okay, let's see. Scorpion, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, and the snow. The uh, 8th to the 10th of November. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. The 8th to the 10th of, um, of November. So we have optimism here. So you're optimistic here. Okay. Yeah. Think. Oh, I had the deck in reverse, and that flipped out perfectly. In the upright. So we have thinking, missing, craving, and desiring. So you're missing, craving, and desiring someone. Um, Scorp, okay? Or this is, yeah, how someone feels about you. You're missing and craving and desiring. We're going to see who this is and what this is. Exhaustion, depletion, drain, long journey, and only you devoted, attached, and crave with boundaries. Okay. What is the thinking? Yeah, finality. Yeah, so farewell, um, leave behind, and closure. So if you were missing, craving, or desiring someone, or somebody was missing, craving, or desiring you, you pick what side? I feel like that's over. Okay. Uh, and that could become as a shock, turmoil, trouble, and unexpected, and chasing, and pursuit, toxicity, and resilient. Maybe you thought somebody was going to chase you, but they're over it. They're walking away. They're tired of chasing you, or they're tired of, or you're tired of this, or something, or, or somebody's just not into the chasing shit. They're like, no, nah, I, don't, I don't do that. Yeah, we have Twin Flame and we have Intuition, okay. So again, this came out in the collective reading that I did as well, okay. I just did a collective reading and um, that that this will technically be posted, although I'm doing this on the 7th, it will be posted on the 8th, which is tomorrow. And I also did a collective reading that I posted just now so this is kind of um giving me a little bit of that but in twin flame and intuition i feel like you have a telepathic connection with your twin flame mirroring shared feelings and reflection you mirror each other just period okay and you intuitively know that or you can connect with each other intuitively through just telepathic connection heart song telepathic and then through music as well or something like that okay what's the twin flame and intuition <laughs> Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and that, yeah, withdrawn, single, lonely, and solitary, but you're single or you're, you're alone or something, yeah, breaking point, limit, final straw, and overwhelmed with uh, shallow time and curse, yeah, again, we have rejection, abandoned, dismissed, irrational, and fear, and healing, and commitment, maybe you want to heal things, what's withdrawn, we have spying, Social network and information away. So you are spying. Family, second chance, and death. Yeah. You are spying on someone. But you're withdrawn, Scorpio. But you want a second chance. And yeah, awareness, importance, value. Maybe you're realizing somebody's value or their importance to you or something like that. I'm not really okay. Why? Yeah, depth. It, it, okay, it came out. Yeah, depth. Awareness, importance, and value. And second chance. Reconcili make, reconciliation, making amends, and opportunity. So I feel like you want a family with someone. You want to, you know, or someone's pregnant, or you maybe you want a family, or you want somebody to get pregnant. Fertility, parenthood, and pregnancy. Okay, we have obscurity, secrets, mystery, and concealing with nurture. Yeah, self growth, self focus, and soul finding with running. Yeah, this yeah return though, in perspective, better off happiness and better headspace. But return, second chance, opportunity, making amends. There's that making amends, opportunity, and second chance. So there will be a second chance here. 
um, uh, rejection, abandoned, dismissed, irrational, fear, lusting, forbidden, non-committal, sexual energy. So maybe, yeah, frozen, no bone, stone car, ecstasy, chasing thrills. So I, I feel like somebody could be releasing these chasing thrills and these holes. All right, to become more of a loving man. What's optimism? Let me read what that is for you. I'm going to say loving man because it says loving man, but it could be a woman here as well. You just pick the side of it. You don't go by gender and tarot, but I'm just going to say man for the sake of the reading. We have optimism here. Somebody could be 35 or 30, turning 35 or close to 35 or something like that. All right, let's see. 35, bright future, yeah. A woman looks joyously at a sunrise over a beautiful valley. An abundant fruit hangs on the trees that surround her. This is a card of great value and achievement. Your reality is shifting in a much more positive direction. Look for an exciting new development in money, romance, or your career. This could also manifest as a personal accomplishment or a creative success or a creative success. Old blocks are falling away and you are choosing to see the light at the end of the tunnel. There is an increased optimism taking hold in your attitude and you're fin finally determined to raise your consciousness to a more positive outlook. This reveals a much more beneficial mindset that you may have had in the past. Your attitude of optimism ensures that a very bright future, perhaps one you may not have even been expecting, is on its way. Wow. It says, I choose optimism and joy throughout each day. I look to the future with hope and excitement. There you go, Scorpio. All right, let's see. What's the loving man? I want to see what that is real quick because it's just, it looks so cute. Okay, the loving man, number five. All right. Let's see what this is. So, because that's your overall how you're feeling. Okay, tender hearted masculine energy, period. So, this could be a masculine. It says, A man holding a bouquet of flowers walks towards you on a path. The energy that comes from him is compassion, compassionate, and down to earth. This could portend the beginning of a new romantic relationship, or it could indicate the deepening of a present love. Open your heart and know that you deserve the depth of love that steers your soul and fills your life with companionship and purpose. Wow, there's that depth again, that depth word. Awareness, importance, and value. Yeah, you could go see, deep sea diving with someone or someone wants to do this with you. There can be all sorts of loving men in your life. In fact, you could be that loving masculine energy yourself. So be kind to yourself. Look at all the ways you can bring more love to your life and the lives of those around you. A kind word, a tender hug, laughter shared, all of this will raise the vibration of love within and around you. The affirmation is more and more I feel the tender, tender hearted energy all around me and bring that caring attitude towards myself. Beautiful energy here, Scorp. Okay. I feel like if this is a man, this is beautiful, okay? This is you tapping more into your loving side. And I feel like you have a twin flame that mirrors your soul that you can trust. You have an intuition, a telepathic connection with. Um, not sure. That's why I got to put a card on the thinking and finality card. Because if there was something you were thinking about or wanting or something that could be over, what's this? Something like that. Maybe something for Scorpio. Someone rising Venus in North Carolina, the 8th to the 10th of November. Give me one of these for Scorpio. The 8th to the 10th of November for Scorpion. I'm intimidated by you and acting out of lower self. Okay. So somebody's intimidated by you. Yeah, baby on board. Wow. And they are being haunted. So I feel like somebody's being haunted by a pregnancy or thinking someone is pregnant or something. Yeah, on the down low. There's something being hidden here. Narcissist impact paradigm. You have healing energy. If you're a healer and the marriage is on the table, but if you're a healer, I just, I don't know. If, or if you're dealing with one, I feel like it's a narcissist impact paradigm. Somebody is empathetic, they're loving, they're caring, and somebody else is a narcissist and a liar or they or, or something like that what is the i'm intimidated by you and acting out a lower self i just feel like somebody's like yeah unhealthy sexual habits yeah see yeah non-committal see mm -mm. Mm -mm. okay but we have the care what, what give me one more yeah but marriage is on the table though but secretly hates you secretly married deception what the fuck experiencing karma for bad choices so if somebody's secretly married, but they want married with they want marriage with you, but they're married, and they're also lustful, or they like they they have 
their non-committal and unhealthy sexual habits, but they secretly hate you as well, or you secretly hate someone that you're in love with. Yeah, this looks messy as fuck. Yeah, and then it's just sex and the walk got them whipped and experiencing bad karma. Okay, what is this, man? Now it's traced, safe to trust them. So I feel like there's somebody here is safe to trust that you have depth with or you can tell your inner most secrets to or somebody that, that or, or something like that. Or at least you're working on being, I, I don't know. Okay, this is really giving a lot. All right, but I, I feel like something, yeah, secretly, I feel like something is messy. Marriage is on the table. You have healing energy. Yeah, you have healing energy and marriage is on the table. Somebody loves you or you love someone, but it's like they're intimidated by you or they act out of their lower self or they have unhealthy sexual cut habits they're non-committal and then they could be married already yeah there's that telepathic connection again and there it is again telepathic connection so you definitely have this with someone it's your twin flame because it came out like that you have this yeah a contract you're in a contract with this person in the past life in this life or whatever fucking life okay yeah divine pair look at this it's like a telepathic connection, a divine pair, a contract between you and someone else that is beautiful. That I feel like you keep sacred or you keep on the low or or you 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 guys don't really want to talk about this connection with people because people are evil. They hate, they're jealous, especially when you're dealing with a divine pair. That's emperor and empress. Okay, you don't put people in your shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you could it could be like a couple of people if you trust them, but as far as like talking to your friends about it and just, if that's it's not something that you do or this is not what this person does or something like that okay let's see yeah on the download narcissist empath yes narcissist empath situation and somebody wants you to feel like they can trust you or you want somebody to feel like they can trust you but you secretly hate them and you're intimidated by them but you love their healing energy though and you want marriage and it is a divine pair and there is a telepathic connection. There is a contract between you two or you could be going into one that is very lucrative with this person. You could be coming up with an idea because now they're giving me that. But I feel like somebody's non-committal and they have uns like, okay, here we go, man. Yeah, yeah, big dick energy, like, yeah, on the down low. Okay, yeah, watch your back and, and all of this shit. I just would be careful. Pay attention to the red flags. I'm trying to rob you for movement of your forward movement. Or this is what someone's trying to do to you. You're like, why? Yeah, somebody's on the down low. Okay. Obscurity, secrets, mystery. Yeah, so there, there's something there's something going on under the surface. All I'm going to say is what karma keeps showing up, experiencing bad karma. Be careful how you are treating someone. Because I don't feel like this is going to... What is this for Scorpio? Summer rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, 8 to the 10th of November for Scorpio. Please. Give me something for Scorpio. Give me something for Scorpio. Summer rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node, the 8th to the 10th of November. Give me something for Scorpions. All right, and we have date. So courting, dating, anniversary, and meetup. So you could be dating someone, meeting up with them. Okay, yeah. Somebody you're married to or you want to marry or whatever. We have divine intervention, serendipity, catalyst, supernatural, karma, and fear. Yeah, afraid, uneasy, suspicious, and scared of something. This could be home, crossroads, addictions, road. Ah. God, this was looking beautiful. Now it's coming off like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, so courting, dating, anniversary. So you're meeting up with someone. You're dating them. You could be kissing someone's hand or spending time with them. Or whatever over the next couple of days. Let's see what this is for Scorpio. Summer rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. What is this? The 8th to the 10th of November. The 8th to the 10th of November. Give me something here, please. Scorp. Scorpio, please. Give me something. The 8th to the 10th of November. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and um, all that. Yeah, we have ascending. Yeah, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, and preparing for union. We have engagement, engagement, partnership, commitment, completion, and or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. So I'm gonna put a card on one of these. I'm gonna do an extent. I'm gonna extend this. So click the link to the extension. It'll be in the description box, comment section, and community tab. I'm going to put one on each of these and then I'm going to do a whole spread. 
on the extended to um, get what this is that's going on. Acting out of lower um, self, intimidated by your success. What is this? The Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. The 8th to the 10th of November. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. The deck is upright. So this could be a loss of work or job or, or something like that. If not, it's like not putting in the work into something, not wanting to build upon something, not wanting to put in the work, okay? What's unhealed sexual, um, un unhealthy sexual habits and non-committal? Unsexual habits, yeah, the two of swords. Someone's torn or they don't care or somebody likes to, or someone's going to double cross you or somebody just does not care. Yeah, the fool. Someone's indifferent. They like to, they, they have se they have unhealthy sexual habits. They like to meet new people, literally new people on a whim and sleep with them or whatever. Um, or you're indifferent to somebody. You're like, yeah, I don't. Yeah, the seven of wands, seven of swords. Yeah, you're like, yeah, I'm not with this at all. It's one thing for somebody to be free because I feel like you give somebody freedom. You, you don't really whatever, but you're like, if, why would you think that? I would want to sleep with you. You're continuously sleeping with other people. Like, what the fuck do you think? Yeah, the justice, there's that karma shit again. What is, um, you have healing energy and marriage is on the table. I just feel like, you're like, yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm just not. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody you want a long-term relationship with. Yeah, the, it could be a Virgo or, yeah, the Queen of Swords or whoever. Yeah, we have the um, the King of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. I'm also getting somebody's obsessed or attracted to someone that's not attracted to them. Like, I feel like somebody's obsessing over a fire sign somewhere that they fucked or fuck with that does not want them, never did. They just wanted money. That's all they want. I feel like somebody's not physically attracted to someone, but I feel like someone else is physically attracted to someone, but the other person doesn't feel the same. So one person's more in it for sex. The other is like, where's the money? I don't know where this is coming for. This this reading was beautiful. Now all of a sudden, all of this weird shit is coming in. Okay. I'm not trying to be weird. It's Scorpio, it's you. All right, or something. There you are, the death card. What is a divine pair, a contract, and telepathic connection? Because this is giving, yeah, the six of swords that you want to move on from or that you're moving away from or that you're moving towards. Or this is person was guided to you or... I, I don't know. What's divine pair telepathic connection and um, a contract? Yeah, the six of swords. I see the five of cups. I just like this is like too much. I feel like you're in love with someone or but 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 you. Yeah, the four. OK. Oh, OK. So this isn't bad. So this is someone coming to your home. They're visiting you. This person you have a divine pair connection with. They're at your home or you're at theirs. They're pulling up on your ass. Yeah. So I don't see anything wrong with this, but. Yeah, this could be tonight or at night. Someone's coming to see you, or this could be in secret with the six of swords, four, five, four of wands, and the moon. You're, you're, or you're cheating or lying or something like that. Yeah, the world card. Okay. I don't know. All right, this is given, but it, it doesn't look like what's the two of swords with the non-committal and unhealthy sexual attachment. I feel like somebody does not care. To be, to have these sexual attachments, to be non-committal, they don't give a fuck. They're like, okay, it is what it is. I don't care. They're like, okay. I just, with the narcissist empath, it's like somebody loves somebody so much and they try to be patient and kind and caring because they, they understand this twin flame connection and the other just does not care. They would cheat or lie or anything that come, that they want to do, they'll do it. They just like, I don't care. Yeah, non -com yeah, the two of unhealthy sexual habits, non-committed, the two of swords and the eight of cups. Somebody would just leave and walk away from you to go flirt with or invest in something else somewhere else with somebody else. But I feel like it ends up blowing up or it, it always ends up backfiring. Yeah, the high priestess, the star, I'm getting a psychic or a healer, a Reiki healer, an astrologer, somebody that reads birth charts. That's somebody that knows a lot about like spiritual stuff. Yeah, you could be patronizing them or paying them for this or watching them or whatever. You're like, yeah, I'm I'm tired of the dumb shit. Give me give me one for um optimism. Cause this, yeah, the ace of principles. This is about an opportunity, a love, and a, a job of the future, your north node, whatever. What's the date? What's the date? Courting, dating, anniversary, and meetup. 
So yeah, the page, yeah. So this could be um, yeah, the page of cups. So you're meeting somebody new, you're flirting. Hi there, there's flirting, there's texting, there's whatever this is going on. And then we have the ace of wands in the set, but somebody doesn't want sex or they're gonna reject you for that, or somebody doesn't want sex, just period. They're 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 not with that shit, they're not going for it, or whatever the fuck you had a three of swords, or there's gonna be some kind of cheating or lies or deception or um, some shit like that. Ace of Wands and the Seven of Wands. You're like, no, I don't want to, to have sex. Like you keep, like I, I don't get why somebody want you, yeah, but there's not gonna be an argument. The Five of Wands, before. yeah. Someone's doing chaos magic. I just like, this is like chaos. That an earth sign or a water sign somewhere is doing, yeah, the Fool card and the Knight. You're like, I don't wanna argue or fight about it. I just don't want sex because I know that you're, being raggedy, like what the fuck you mean? We have the uh, ascending, yeah, transcending obstacles. What is this? What is this being ascended? I saw the King of Pentacles, so this could be in a, a marriage. Or, yeah, the five. Ugh. So this could be some kind of money. Yeah, this could be good news. You're getting about your money, or something, or or about this love. What's the transcending obstacles? Um, expansion, new phase, preparing for union with the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Yeah, the seven of swords. Definitely something going, some kind of flirting or text messages going on behind the scenes. What's this? Give me one on twin flame with John. What's the thinking and finality? What is the craving thinking that you're, you're done doing? Yeah, the sun cards. You found the solution or you found your happiness or you found, yeah, the six of wands, the king of wands. This could be somebody like a Leo or somebody you're, 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 that is fine. What is the thinking and craving with the, yeah, the sun and the two of cups? Because I feel like you're happy with somebody. Yeah, this could be somebody from your past or you feel very much connected to or something like that. Yeah, the seven of pentacles in the reverse. Wow, with the crate. I feel like you're not craving or thinking or wanting. You're, you're done with that. You're not going to put your time, energy, or effort into something that's not serving you. Thinking, craving, and yeah, the seven of pentacles in the reverse. So this could be, um, this could be a, a fire sign. The Queen of Wands that you're thinking about or craving or wanting. All right, let me see what this is. What is the um, Seven of Pentacles reversed in the Queen of Wands? You have the Eight of Swords that you're fixated on or stuck on or under somebody's spell or you, you put them under a spell or they put you under one or something like that. What is this? Yeah, but I feel like it's over now. The Fool. If you were fixated or craving or wanting something sexually with somebody, I feel like it's over. You're free from that or or some shit like that. Or they are something. Because the Eight of Swords is like a spell. The Fool is like, yeah, the Five the five of Cups, the Will of Fortune, and Death. Something has changed or it's over with. Like, again, I'm getting an energy where there, there's no attraction. Somebody could have been flirtatious. The Page of Wands, they flirt. The Pages is like emojis and flirting. But I feel like somebody's not really attractive. What they want is money. So this could be something about somebody about their money. Okay, so I'm not really getting what the, the problem is. Okay. So what? Yeah, the death is over. There you are, Scorpio. You changed or it's over or something has shifted majorly. Okay, um, yeah, the Nine of Cups, and then we have the Empress. Maybe this is what your Empress, uh, maybe, maybe your Empress is loyal to you or your Empress, you want to be loyal to them or something. The Empress is the ultimate. She's the baddest and very beautiful. Very good sex, too, with the Nine of Cups. Very, someone's loyal, too. The strength, they're strong, the strong, silent type. Beautiful, every hair in place. Literally, the Empress is the epitome of perfect. That's why she embodies every queen. Maybe that's what you're wanting or you want to put your time into. But I feel like you're you're still thinking about a warning, a fire sign somewhere. Okay. And um, I don't know. Yeah. Something of, yeah, or a water sign or it's a bunch of bitches or something like that. All right. But I don't feel like you're putting time, energy or effort into that. I feel like something was more lustful or sexual or something like that or about money or something. Yeah, the king. That's somebody's like, yeah, you need to, you need to um, give me some money, and a lot of it, or you spent a lot of money on somebody. You you can't. Okay, I'm I'm trying not to be. You can't expect. You can't come off like a trick or a simp, right? And you trick off with these hoes and expect them to be thinking about you. They they're gonna think about you and the money that you gave them. 
They're not thinking about you because I don't feel like there's attraction here. Maybe on your half, you're attracted, but I don't feel like this woman is or vice versa. I feel like somebody wants their money. This is not somebody that thinks about a person. And, oh, it's so great. And so this something was strictly sexual or something was strictly a transaction or something is about their money. And if you're not going to give them that, they're definitely over it. The full card. I feel like somebody had you under their spell. They probably did spell work on your ass or you did this. And, and, and now something, what, what's the eight of swords in the fool? Now something's being broken or, because I'm definitely getting, you're like, yeah. And, and if you're doing this, if you're craving this person and you got this energy here, it shows up again, the Empress and the Nine of Cups. It, you have, you you pull um, telepathic connection. Somebody knows that you feel this way for another person or you're thinking about them or you want them. They're going to walk away. They're like, okay, if you want this whole type shit over the Empress, then go, like, like go but i feel like something only happened because somebody was insecure in the first place they wanted to like they wanted their ego stroked or they wanted to be the best or they wanted somebody was sexy or fun or whatever but i feel like yeah the nine of wands and the devil like somebody something there's like an, an unattractiveness here or there's something is dark something is done with like spell work or it's dark or it's not right or something i'm tired of reading on this type of shit it's like what what is this am i i, I, I feel like I, I i don't know what this is but you, you decide to do what you want. Do what's best for you. I'm not trying. I'm just letting you know I'm reading the cards. Something is not going anywhere. And, and I'm, I'm definitely getting, yeah, there's your match. The emperor and the empress. I'm definitely getting, if you are, you're, you're cheating or you're lying. Then you're cheating on the earth side. Okay. I'm going to, okay, yeah, the justice is the overall energy. Karma, and that, that keeps showing up. It showed up in this deck. It showed up over here. And it showed up in this one. So something is, and it's right here. So something is very karmic. You're 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 gonna lose this, this this love of your life, everything because you you're whatever the fuck. Cause I keep seeing a bunch of queens, queen of cups, wands, pinnacles, and all, and I'm not seeing kings. So I feel like this is a male energy doing this. You're gonna lose the love of your life for what? Over somebody that that don't fuck with you or you don't fuck with or that you're that's not attracted to you or that only wants money from you like most of these hoes in the world over somebody that adores you adorns you loves you and and, and everything this is what you're going to do to them i'm also getting somebody is like manipulating yeah the empress um the nine of cups nine of pentacles and the high priestess yeah somebody's bad to the bone the empress and nine of pentacles that's like somebody self-made. That could be somebody with an LLC, their own business. Somebody that has great talent. Somebody self-made and very good vagina. Beautiful body. Somebody that their, their skin, their body, they're very healthy. They just are beautiful. You're in love with them. Two of Cups, the Sun, the Emperor, and the Empress. You're in love with them. And it's mutual. They feel the same way. Yeah, you may even work with them. There's that contract again and make bukus of fucking money. That is what they're telling me. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles, Six of Wands. This could be somebody that's a speaker or online or very popular or some shit like that. But I feel like you yeah, have the justice. But I feel like you're 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 fixated or you're doing something with it with a fire sign or you played this person for a hoe because they look good, real good, and you want to fuck and and some more shit. You're not like you're not the only one. I feel like we got to use our mind. Like, come on, man. Like, what, what, like, awaken here. Yeah, the judgment and the ace of swords. Like, come on, man. I see bad, I see fine ass niggas every fucking day. And there's not a day on earth that I will ever choose that none of these niggas over my emperor. I don't give a fuck. You're not that bad. And I probably only think that because I'm drunk, I'm high, or I'm just in the moment, I'm whatever. There's nothing that will ever take me from like my emperor. I'll never think somebody's more sexy or beautiful. I don't even think you think this because the empress and I, the pinnacles and I come, that's bad to the fucking bone. With the sun, someone is radiant. They're beautiful. It's just, I don't feel like you do. It's just like, I feel like somebody like with unhealthy sexual habits and shit and non-committal. Somebody just, if somebody looks good or if they want to fuck or whatever, they can't help themselves. This is very low with the devil card. This is very low. It's like, okay. Finality and um, missing and craving type shit. But I feel like somebody doesn't want to invest time or energy. Seven of Pentacles in reverse is like, I'm not giving you my time, my energy, or nothing. Or this bitch is not. I, I mean, if you don't have no money, why would they? If you presented yourself as a trick, then this is what they want. They want you to trick. Or they want you to keep coming with the money. You don't got that. Yeah, the four cups and the three. Somebody is like, nah, I'm good. 
I feel like it was a lot of sex, a lot of, like a lot of spell work or, 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 or something was based off of sex and lust. And, 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 and now it's over or a spell is going to be broken. You're just like, no, I'm good. Or, or this is what you're doing. Okay. What is this? I feel like it's, it's over. I feel like somebody, yeah, hermit two of pentacles every day. It's like, it's like a routine every day. Someone's doing spell work to either get you to fall in love with this queen of wine. This has been coming out for weeks and betray an up and coming stripper or hoe or whatever for your empress. So that way when your empress walks away, leaves you forever or your emperor, you're, you're, you don't get this bitch either. This bitch is going on to the next and now you're without your person. Someone's doing this. It's, it's It could be several women or, some, or something that wants to like intervene in this connection here. Keep it like away, like they, they like keep somebody away from you or keep this from coming together, but it keeps healing. Yes, yeah, your happiness, the Ten of Cups. This is your emotional for tens are a completion. And yeah, someone's very beautiful. And I'm getting to have a beautiful singing voice or speaking voice. Somebody is like beautiful. Yeah, you're gonna work with them. But I feel like your 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 thoughts are being distorted because somebody could work from a lower vibration. So it's easy to attack you with sexual connections and, and shit. But this is all to throw you off. Something is not pure. Something there, there's no cups here. There's no love. This is sex. Yeah. And confusion and illusion. Seven of cups. That's all. And the ten of swords I feel like is gonna end. The eight of swords is a spell. The ten of swords is it broke. It's broke. This is all, and somebody keeps doing this to keep you like stuck on this um, fire sign and crave them and want them when really you don't. This is all an illusion. This is your card, Scorpio. Or this is what you're doing. This is your card. It's not working. Somebody's over it, the full card. They're already on to somebody else with big money, Ace of Pentacles. Like literally on to somebody else. They're, they're not worried about anything you're talking about. And if you want this person back, if you want to fuck with them, then make sure your money is up and make sure you're coming out the pockets because you can't come as a trick and come off like that and then expect somebody to want love or lay up with you. They're like, no, where's the money at? You want sex? I can give you that too, but where's the fucking money? You got to be careful about being in, being in lust and shit with bitches or niggas because they, they don't love back. They know as far, this is the way the world is made up. It's the way it is. It's just the way it is. You're not going to get a better energy than the Empress. No, nothing, nobody, nothing. This is your twin flame. It came out right here. Twin flame, twin flame, and twin flame um, showed up in one of the other decks I was shuffling or moving around. This is your person. You've already met them. I, I keep hearing six, six, six. So this is your six. That's your twin flame, or this was six months ago. You met them, or whatever the fuck. It's something about six they're giving me. Okay, but either way it go, somebody's in love with you. Depth, awareness, importance, and value. They value you. They're in love with you, and they forgive you. Even when you hurt them, betray them, stab them in the back, cheat, lie, leave them hanging for fucking whores, or whatever this is. They're still here loving you and appreciate You're not going to find anybody more graceful, graceful, refined, somebody that's loyal. I'm talking about soul confirmation loyal and honest they don't lie to you they'll never cheat they'll nothing you're not going to find this again that's probably why karma keeps showing up in your reading this your overall energy serendipity cat because you keep doing stuff and you keep and it keeps backfiring or you keep getting signs to, to change and but yet you keep it's like why treat this person this way though treat these hoes this way why treat this person this way i just feel like it, it's gonna be and somebody never gets tired of you. They don't get bored with you. They think you're the sexiest man on earth. They love the intimacy with you. They love being with you. They, they never want to be with somebody else. But I feel like it's because somebody else is more high vibrational than the other. Usually that's how it goes in the twin flame journey. One is elevated high, but you both are divine, masculine and feminine. Somebody may not just be tapping into their energy all the way. That's why your twin flame is here to help you see it. Even if you don't see it in yourself, they see it. And they love you unconditionally, no matter how you've hurt them. And that's something that has to be considered like, wow, this person. Okay, let me see, man. Let me goddamn look at my actions. Let me goddamn try to goddamn do anybody with love in their heart for somebody that loves them. Like, do you at least consider? So, but I feel like somebody's like, no, nah, I got to walk away from this or something. Because somebody feels like at a drop of a dime, you would you would ghost them, hurt them for this person or for hoes again. Because several queens showed up. So, be, yeah, hoes, three of cups. Strippers, holes, or whatever. They feel like that. Like that's how you want to make this person that loves you at any drop of a dime. You could leave them hanging again, hurt them, ignore them for 
hold that, throw that pussy at you. That, that has no love. There's no cups here except for the seven of cups. And that's not love. That's confusion, illusions, mind games. And then with this card, it's like black magic. There is no love here. It's all about game and lust and whatever. And somebody moves off their lower desires. But if I was like, I, I don't understand how these men do this. I could never want to take a whole serious like that. I know you fucking other hoes and you show your pussy to the world. This is what you do or whatever. I could never take you seriously. Lust after want you or nothing. After I bust your ass down one time, bitch, I'm not thinking about you, my nigga. Like, because I know you got other niggas. I know you want other niggas dicks. I know you do. Like, what, what the fuck? Like, really? So this gives me energy of somebody that is not used to nothing or something. It's, it's, it's giving... It's, it's, it's giving, mm -mm. it's giving hell no, like for real, it's giving, nah, I'm, 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 I'm it's like, it's like a loop or something, it's like always being in a loop or some shit like that. And then there's a lot of sex magic being done. And all, yeah, there's another queen. Then there's, there's a lot of that somebody's holding on to sex magic. There it is. A manipulation to get a person or to get. I feel like somebody just wanted somebody. I can see what somebody did. If this is like a stripper or something, somebody wanted this motherfucking um, stripper so fucking bad that they broke the bank. When I got all the money they could, because I mean, I feel like a lot of people were on this person. They're very attractive. They they they, they use the art of seduction. They could be, they put people under their spell with their beauty, or they could do a lot of spell work to enhance their beauty, to enhance their seduction, so that they get the money. Smart, not mad at it, but it's just like somebody here. They broke. They, they wanted the attention. They wanted somebody so bad that they were willing to do whatever, even treat somebody that loves them deeply, unconditionally, from past lives, everything. To get this, I feel like somebody like, and, and then I feel like somebody faced karma. Yeah, the four of cups too. They didn't give a fuck that they hurt somebody else, cheated on them or nothing. They did not give a fuck. They broke the bank, the king of pentacles, to make sure that somebody had, or, or, or I'm, I'm getting like over a grand, 600 to a grand or more. Yeah, just for this good time. It's probably, they didn't care, you didn't care how you hurt or affected someone that's a, or, or anything. I feel like somebody got karma for it. It didn't just go un, undone. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, the King of Wands reversed. This is somebody that, that is very, very competitive. Somebody that will do anything to win. Somebody that has, is very insecure, but they come off like, you know, I'm confident, but they're not. Because anytime you, anytime you have to do any of this type of shit to get a bitch attention, to get them to want, this, this, this is not good. Yeah, the Tower, the Five of Swords, and the, yeah, this is not good. But I feel like it's okay. Somebody, somebody got karma for treating somebody a certain way, okay, or they're going to. The Knight of Cups and the Strength, but now there's an apology or there's, or somebody has the strength in their card, so they're still prideful or still arrogant or they or maybe they're loyal or they want to make peace yeah the four swords okay this is just really disappointing i'm sorry i want to i want to get a little bit more of an elaboration on this in the in the extended okay so if you guys want the link i'm gonna do like a little 10 minute um longer video on this elaborating over, over this shit and what exactly happened and what because this looks like old energy we keep talking about is coming up in your readings a one night stand somebody that that's not going to be worth it somebody doing spell work somebody um breaking a bank for a fucking whore that think or, or whatever this is ruining a, a lifetime partner of love and devotion somebody absolutely radiant the empress nine of cups nine of pentacles great sex healthy at, like like everything they make love to you it's like amazing too like the way they make love or whatever the fuck it is. And it's like over like a cheap fucking thrill. But I feel like you're a match with this person because you're both arrogant. You're both prideful. It's all about sexual energy. It's all about how you look. It's all about who you can pull. It's all about, yeah, so this was a karmic person for you in your life. It's a karmic soulmate type energy that you dealt with. Every soulmate we have is not a good one. Sometimes they come in to bring you karma. From past life lessons. So this is something you're repeating in this one. Picking up shit for lust. But whoever this is you slept with or did this. They, they're the same energy as you. So if you're a liar. You're a con. You're a user. You'll sleep with anybody. You move recklessly. This is the same way this person is. And I definitely don't hope somebody's not obsessing over a hoe. That that would just, just be disappointing. Like you definitely ain't no player ass nigga. Like at all. Who, who the fuck does that? 
Yeah, we got the Empress sticking out again, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, because it, it ain't nobody the Empress but the Empress. <laughs> You you want you want some you want a wild bitch? Tell the empress they'll do that. They'll they'll do do all of that shit. They'll get freaky. They'll get crazy. They love heels because the empress is somebody that loves to dress up and get sexy and they're having a beautiful body. They know how they do all of that. Tell them instead of destroying them or trying to do. But I feel like it has nothing to do with this person. They they are loving, caring, patience, the temperance, intuitive, soft, understanding, great sex, healthy, um, smart. They can hold any conversation. I feel like you have so much in common with this person. Even dark, like it's it's fucking weird. This is your twin. It's this nothing they did. It has everything to do with you. Or if you're not the one doing it, someone's doing it to you. You pick what side. But you will regret, I swear to God, like I can feel it in my heart, like tears, but not wanting to cry, but like broken heart. Yeah, the three, so you're, you're going to be broken if you just hurt this person for the, for the, for this shit, man. I'm, I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, okay, it's not going, it's, it's just not going to work. Okay, but anyways, do what's best for you, all right? Uh, somebody will still love you unconditionally like they always do. But somebody's here not not to be played with or, or or none of that they they ha they are very protective because they are the, of the light and joy and brain they've been very loyal so it's fucked up if you're if you're just doing anything to them that shit is fucked up and there's going to be hits in somebody's money finances keep fucking with these holes or this hole or these holes because i'm seeing several of them or or staying in marriages relationships or whatever you're not supposed to be in whatever the fuck this is we're going to see in the extended click the link it'll be in the description box comment section and community tab